Hello there, everybody. This is JRPG Historia Future Perfect. I'm your time captain, Evan, joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. Hello. And as sometimes by Virtual Stoic, Kyle. Wow. Hello. We're in this ice dungeon. Yep. Uh, we were in a water dungeon a little while ago, now we're in an ice dungeon. And I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I am gonna fucking nail this dungeon. Mm -hmm. You better. <laughs> this is gonna be we're, the if one... If we're only recording two episodes, this let's, is... let's hope you can... <laughs> this, I'm just saying, this is the one where I am going to pay attention and I'm gonna get through this so fast. Purple Moonstone is the power of ice. Makes no there sense, but sure. Yeah. You motherfucker. Ice isn't purple. Trying to try and get me. Caterpie evolves into... My... <laughs> yes. Alright. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
seems like a teleporter. Ah! Beam me up, Scotty. Exactly. Good reference. Thanks. <laughs> Easiest one I had. Yep. It's the one to have. All right. Maybe six? No. Nope. <laughs> like how Vice nope. is oh. short his answer. Maybe six? Huh? Okay, you guys, I'm not doing very well in this dungeon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I nailed that first guess one. It's, guess it's two. Nailed that first one. But... Uh... No, I'm gonna duck and weave. <laughs> duck and weave. That'll, duck. That will ensure... Duck oh, and weave! Oh, hey! Duck and weave! Motherfuckers! It worked. it worked! Duck and weave! Battle. No. <laughs> As you're teleporting. Yeah, see that? That was what I call... Good ducking, good weaving. Okay, now, process of elimination. I'm going to say that two is what I want to select. I think you should try four again. Yeah, four might be right. Yeah. And maybe it's it's a, it's all, like, just to get in your head. Wait, what? <laughs> that didn't make a noise either. Uh... Maybe you need to just try all of them. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nothing about this makes sense. They're sky pirates. Uh, I pray. Uh, oh. What? Oh, okay. I guess it just didn't make the noise. Maybe it only makes the noise if I get it right the first time. Probably. Okay. I'm gonna nail this next one, though. Let's do it. All right. Answer the last query and open your own path. Purple moonstones affect the abilities of living things. What are the abilities most valued by the people of Glacia? Uh. <laughs> well, Will that's... and spirit, I'm gonna guess. D nice going, Ryan. Yep, yep, that's it. Holy shit, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the single most useful thing you've ever said on this show. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that is your peak Once ability Once again, summarized. Ryan, you proved yourself right. Yep. <laughs> Once Guys, I'm checking out. I'm done. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I've hit, I'll I've see hit you in peak. season five when I come back. <laughs> yeah. Season five, we're sending you off to After college. I've come down from this high, I'll make a comeback. And... <laughs> oh wow. God. Okay, now what? Last door before what? The boss? Surely that wasn't it. That was barely a dungeon. <laughs> oh, there's so much fog. Vice! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Vice died, and game everybody. game over, yeah. <laughs> Vice? Don't walk forward, you this idiots. This is like the end of the mist. Just gonna, gonna hear a single shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ica kills everybody and then it all goes away. It's like you have to kill me. We don't have a chance, and then you do, and then the army shows up. And you're like, oh god, I didn't have to do that. Vice, <laughs> what happened? What do you think happened? Okay. If we can see the sky through the floor, that means we're at the bottom. Good thinking. Oh man, it's Columbia. <laughs> wow. But ice under the air. <laughs> this looks like a fucking Dark Souls zone. Yeah, it kind of does actually. Yeah. Oh, this is like <laughs> Neo Geo Evo with the things coming out from the top. Don't call it Neo Geo Evo. <laughs> That's what it's called, man. It's not what it's called. There's no O in Evo. Well, okay, there is an O in Evangelion, but it's not after the V. Neo Geo Eva. Yeah, that's fine, but then at that point, that just, just say Neo Geo Eva. Neo Geo Eva. I'm going to start calling it that from now on. You can just refer to it through a series of different toned, like, grunts. Maybe. 
Man, Fina doesn't look very excited to be here. Well, what are what are you hiding, Fina? That she's explaining it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I mean, I was trying to read her face. Oh, okay. Rather than read the the text. It's, yes. Right there it's on like the screen. Okay. Like right. Okay. It's like All right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'd rather not be buried here forever. Um. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this this looks like a good place to be. Let's just uh, go. <laughs> oh. You just fall off again. Ah. Uh... See the platforms; they move. Okay. Okay. Head up this way. I can see through the ground. It's almost like it's ice. Yeah. I'll say if I remember correctly, like the sound of him just walking on the ice, I always found like super satisfying. Just yeah. Just the way it sounds is really I nice. I really hope the last boss of this area is vanilla ice. Or ice cube. <sighs> or ice tea. Ice tea <sighs> too. Ice cube. Yeah, that's what it's I It's just a glass of ice tea. I said yeah. ice cube already. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Yeah, I said ice cube or ice tea. It's fine okay. though. It's fine. Sorry. No, Sorry. it's fine. It's fine. I, c I couldn't hear it over Kyle's size of so he... Fine. <laughs> <sighs> God, episode sixty-one. So ice cube. How are we on like episode twenty? All... Like, was... yeah, this is episode twenty. <laughs> ice cube was the are we there yet guy, right? Yes. Yeah. And then Ice T is the one who was in Law and CSI. Order. Law and Order. Law and Order. Same Special show. Special Victims Unit. Okay. SVU. Yep. That's what the that's what the kids on the street call it. <laughs> yeah. I call it Special Victims Unit. <laughs> kids on the street. Yo, you catch that last episode of SVU? <laughs> it was crazy. Yep. No. No. You gotta. Here are some drugs. Something. Cray cray. That's what cray that's cray. What that's what the kids <laughs> say nowadays, right? Cray cray. Exactly. Cray cray. That's like Cupel is still freaking out. By yeah, the way, well, Cupel can go fuck himself. I'm not here to meet Cupel's demands. I'm here to be a good sky pirate. All right. Anything in here? Treasure. Treasures in there. Yep. It's hard to get a great sense of my bearings when I'm with the random encounter stuff. Because it always. Well, this this place is a little weirdly designed yeah, anyway. Yeah. So that's the main. You know, thing. Since everything looks upside down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's kill these penguin things. Penguins. Kill the penguins. Aww. What you want me to not kill the penguins? Because that's an impossibility. Well, I'm just used to being you being a coward and running. I mean, <laughs> it's not cowardice. I know. <laughs> but that would be funny if it was cowardice. If I was oh, that God, penguins, if I was that deeply it's like, a like Monty Python skit. emotionally invested in the well-being of my characters, like, oh, I can't risk this. <laughs> this is I'm a coward. Yeah, counterattack. Look at that shit. What does this guy got? Nothing is what he got. You ain't got shit, ice thing. Uh, I believe it is the frost worm, Ryan. It's an ice thing. The frost worm. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. Okay, that was a little bit better, Enrique. Yeah, then of course you get counter Starting to pull your weight there, buddy. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, you did a really nice... Oh, you got hit. Oh, that was great. That was great. Good job, buddy. How take... about you dodge, huh? God. How about you dodge that stuff? Can we just fucking stab this guy and leave him in the ice city? <laughs> Can we just do that? How freaking terrifying would it be? Just, like, you're walking around, and then there's just giant worms stuck in a thing of ice that comes after you, like... <laughs> Well, to be fair, it's not like they're just wandering around. They're wandering around in the Ice City dungeon. <laughs> right. It's, it's not like you're walking down the street and then an ice snail attack. Sing and do it, diddy diddy dum diddy do. Yes. Yes, very good. 
You now we got five minutes where you don't have to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll use them. Yeah, he's, he'll use them, yeah. Alright, give me that chest. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Zivil and Bane battle. Must we dance this dance every time, Bane? <laughs> Must we? Yes, we must. Can't you just accept that I'm better than you? <laughs> and that your plan doesn't make any sense? <laughs> I mean, the football field explosion thing looked cool. But right. Let's be serious. Here. I mean, that's <laughs> the that's what that's the sense of it. Is it looked right. cool? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to fight this guy again. <laughs> Jesus. In most cases, when you fight him, you know, the thing that you get, it's worth it at least for, like, gold or... Yeah, or whatever, yeah, so. I know. I mean, I'm not saying I shouldn't fight him. I'm just right. saying I don't want to. You don't to. want to. Right, right. Because, look, I like Skies of Arcadia, but this is episode 61, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of episodes. Did you uh, did you expect it to get like into this kind of number for episodes or? Uh, yeah, a little. I mean, yeah. it was definitely a possibility the whole time, especially when we do like on other series, we'll occasionally do more than half hour episodes. But I try to largely stick to that with this, since our schedules are a little busier for the three of us. Right, right. It's good to not waste, not blow our load on one. Yeah, you guys yeah. Will except stop having such crazy schedules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. My it's always you too. My it's, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. My schedule, which largely involves sitting in my house and thinking about writing my video game and deciding not to. Hanging out with. Nope, can't make that reference yet. Never mind. <laughs> Hanging out with Snowy. Yes. My dog. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, say, so when we uh, get close to the end of this, we're going to have to, like. It's like it's like preparing for the end of MGS4. We're gonna need like a good like two hour chunk, <laughs> okay, of just time to, to to do it all. But watch the Meryl and Johnny getting married on the <laughs> right, strip yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. I I don't need to <laughs> just die. Just please, just you have to like crawl through an oven as vice. Just... <sighs> Slowly, like pressing. Oh, God, the egg. That part's so good. It really, it is. <laughs> that game's that game's really, really pretty good. <laughs> that game is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it, I, it has its faults, but it's sure, sure. It's, a, it's not. If someone invested in the Metal Gear Solid story from like MGS One, it's yeah. it's good. It's not a game I think I'd, re in retrospect, I'd really recommend to people. <laughs> Right. But it's yeah, unless... definitely it's definitely the game I wanted. So I... right, like unless you're really like an MGS fan and you yeah. played you know one through three at least, you know it's it's definitely one to play. But if you're just coming in, yeah. no, <laughs> no, that would be nonsense. I have no yeah. idea. That would actually be fascinating having somebody who's never touched a Metal Gear game just play Metal Gear Solid Four and see what they think. Okay. Weird. I have no idea what they'd make of it. They 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 be probably be like what. Huh. Ryan, didn't you kind of do that? I had only played three. Right. I'd only beaten huh. three at the point that I had beat that I had uh, started and beat Metal Gear Solid Four. I beat two afterwards. Mm -hmm. I okay. still have yet to play one. Right. Really? You should probably play that game. Yeah, yeah. You, you should. I mean, it's de it's obviously nostalgia for me, but that that is my favorite of it's... the entire series so. i played it for the first time like probably i can count what 98 so yeah i'll say maybe a decade maybe maybe like nine ten years after it came out and okay. it was still really good i think it still holds up so i do too there are a lot uh, of people like that that for some reason think that it doesn't hold up very well yeah. but i i think it's it's great same thing with um Final Fantasy 7. A lot of people think that game doesn't hold up at all, but I played it for the first time in like 2010 and really enjoyed it. So right. I don't didn't, know, maybe I'm just didn't weird. Konami just put like a stop to a fan remake of the original Metal Gear Solid or something? Mm, I'm pretty sure they all no, it they wasn't allowed that it. they they allowed it and they stopped working on it. They yeah. uh, if I remember correctly, they just couldn't do it or something. That was the original but, Metal Gear. 
Yeah, it was original Metal Gear. No. Oh. And they put out like some teaser images, if I remember correctly, and it looked cool. Yeah. But, it did. Just but yeah, I guess they, it was just too much. Yeah. But um. But yeah, definitely like definitely play the first one. In my opinion, play the PS1 version. Yeah. Um, I think Twin, Twin Snakes. Snakes is an abomination you of a game. That, that might be a bit harsh. It's, yeah, I mean, it's it, is, harshly... it is. A lot of people who play Twin Snakes love it, but for someone like me who played MGS One oh, on PS One first, yeah, no, it's certainly it's... not. It's worse. I'm not yeah. disputing that, but it, yeah. Abomination might be a bit of a stretch. It is right. every it... change they make is worse, but the core of the game remains relatively right. intact. We, yeah, and we need to keep in mind MGS One is my favorite game of all yeah. time. So, <laughs> so it's like if somebody took like like the Mona Lisa just smeared a little bit of shit on it you can barely <laughs> tell but you know and then you, if you look hard right. enough you can see the shit and you're like uh oh yeah right. if i was to uh get a version of that game it would probably just be the entire uh collection that they put out recently yeah that disappointing thing about that collection this, is that it just comes with a voucher for they didn't do any work on it so the Metal oh, it's Gear just Solid. like a download version. Yeah, when you get okay. the like complete Metal Gear Solid collection. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it, that one. Okay. I comes... was thinking of the HD collection. Yeah. I was like, it on there. <laughs> yeah, the the complete collect the HD collection doesn't come with it at all. Right. Um, it's two, three, and Peace Walker. It's two, three, and Peace Walker, and then the complete collection is uh, two. I think it's two discs. It's... One is the whole HD collection. And the other is MGS4. And then it comes with like a download code on PSN for Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Or something. But yeah, it's 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 yeah. a great game. Yeah. And then it, it was even... the it was it was the Sorry. first game I played that really cemented to me the idea that video games could be like blockbuster style yeah, sure. uh, properties. Because it's it, it did what most games do now, which was being able to blend a lot of cinematic, uh, you know, finesse with right, right. really good gameplay and really good, like, boss fights and stuff. Yeah. They still haven't put any classic stuff on the uh, PS4 yet, have they? No. no. I guess they're waiting for a PlayStation now. Well, there's it's some definitely. stuff on... Um... Well, they're going to be doing that with, like, uh, aren't they going to be using the... Was it Gaikai streaming service? Yeah, well, that's, that? yeah, that's uh, PlayStation Now. Yeah, that's oh, that, PlayStation oh, Now stuff. But the um, they're on the Japanese PSN, there's some like there were like some arcade game ports. Mm -hmm. There's there's weirdly like more <laughs> based on what I've seen like variety in what's available on Japanese PSN, right? A lot like how uh, on the PS3, if you had a Japanese PSN account, they had way more like PS1 games than we ever got here. Right. Uh, just because I don't know if the market's better for them there or something. There's probably but... more. There were probably were more out there to begin with anyway that probably never got ported over here in the first place. Yeah. Um, so that and that's true of the PS4 too. There's like you can spend like 800 yen on. Oh, uh, this is the boss. On we made it to the things. boss. We made it to well, the that boss. Was quick. Okay. Yeah, that was really quick. Yeah, see that, you motherfuckers? You must, I'm the best. You probably missed a bunch of treasure, but I'm oh the, well. <laughs> oh, who cares? I'm the best. I'm the best. So, and no one's ever going to keep me down. <laughs> I keep forgetting to mention this uh, every time we get into a boss fight. But I, one of the things I really loved about this game uh, musically is that the music changes with how well you're doing in the, in the, in the boss fight. I have not noticed that. When you it starts off with the normal music, uh, if you're if one of your characters gets down to that point where they start like looking like they're limping yeah. or whatever, the music will actually go down into kind of like a minor key, huh. and so it's like super like <laughs> like it's trying to make you feel worse. That's really cool. But once you get the boss down to half health, it actually picks up and even it sounds more like triumphant. Huh. It's one of the coolest things. I wish more games did something like that. Um, yeah, but it's it's, it's just really a nice little touch that it really always got me like, pumped up. I'm trying to think. There have been some games recently that have like adaptive music. I don't know. remember me. Fucking remember. Okay, nobody played Remember Me. Nope. I still have I, that in my shrink wrap sitting like underneath I, my 360. I, is that on Steam? Uh, yes. I feel like I may have it. Okay. Nobody's played it on Steam. Huh? Did I know? 
No, uh, I played it on 360. I keep, I keep meaning to like play it, and it looks like a pretty interesting game. But it's I just... cool. I uh, I reviewed. I gave it a five when I reviewed it. Um, wow. And I don't think. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't argue it too. St it was sort of a charity five, um, uh -huh. <laughs> because it's it got a real bad rap, and Vice is dead. <laughs> That was his death laser. It's an instant I, I kill see. if it lands correctly. Um, Let's try this. But no one gave a shit about it. It's like the little game that could. It's It was like <laughs> my... Like, it was number 10 on my top 10. Like, it, it's it's my horse in the race. Like, I think it's a really cool game that has some problems, but also has a lot of cool stuff. And one of the right. things about the soundtrack in that game, it sort of takes place in, like, a like fifth element, like, French version of the future sort of place. Like, Neo uh -huh. Paris. And uh, the music is all sort of like it's very like digital and techno, and it like speeds up and slows down based on your like combat inputs. Mm -hmm. It's really good. That's cool. I, I... But yeah, like um, if if you uh, go on like eBay, most times you can find the soundtrack for this game mm -hmm. relatively cheap. Um, and they actually did a good thing where they could actually, they during the track, it'll actually switch so you can hear the differences. That's neat, but, um, yeah. I don't know if, like, it should have done the switch once Vice died because, yeah. obviously, he's past that point. It, I can barely hear the audio, so... Uh, oh. Just because I don't... Right. I don't keep it up. I like to listen to you guys instead. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... it's Even just go and YouTube it. You know, it's, it's really really great music mm -hmm. uh, definitely one of my favorite soundtracks uh for any video game right yeah you probably can't hear it here because we're talking over it like dummies but <laughs> again yeah just youtube it. Gosh, you, you can find guys the crystal worked oh my god well that one was a uh Reslim crystal wasn't it yes it was yeah so those always work no i thought it was 50 it's, percent it's full health 50 percent oh full health yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting that <laughs> Well, no. Heal you. Okay. I say, when you get a chance, just go to the Resident Evil Crystal and, and just double check that. Like, press the sure. Y button to, to look at it. I'm pretty sure Ryan's right. <laughs> Avalon Launcher is a fantastic name for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty devastating. Yeah. Well, well I mean, this is actually one with of a name like Avalon Launcher. <laughs> When we when I was saying that there are some boss battles that might be kind of tricky, this is one of the ones that came to mind actually. Okay. I'm not too worried. I think I've I think I've got him. I just need to wait for the moon. <laughs> wait for the moon. <laughs> I think you need all characters alive for the moon. That's board. fine. I'll make it happen. I think you can still use uh, crewmates though, if you don't have Blue everybody. Rogues. Yeah. Okay. Does that does Blue Rogues uh, resurrect people? Uh, uh, it might, depending on who you have. There there might be one for that. I'm not sure. Because it certainly heals. It seems like it would have something like that, yeah. Well, let's try it. Right, it'll probably it. deal a decent amount of damage as is. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably deal I'm sure this boss battle will go long enough that you can use the moon again if you need to. Yeah, yeah, right. This is what I'm paying for. Waste of money. <laughs> yeah, you're you're in. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, that was a good decision to bring you on board. You too. Uh, fuck you, 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 fuck you. You should have died back in Valia. Yeah, yeah MVP. Pow, pow. Hey, <laughs> Oh, that's right, we got the two extras also, so it should do more damage. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Ah. For some reason, whenever I hear the uh, Nerm name, the Nerm, Ermagerd Nerm, Ermagerd Nerm, whenever I read the name uh, Brabham, I always read it really fast in my mind. So it's like Brabham. Brabham. <laughs> oh, so that's cool. So it's my, it like cancels out its turn too. Oh yeah. Like I just got. Oh, check with the Rizalim crystal first. Okay. Just uh, pl please cut. Yeah, just uh. Not just we'll revive any well, what does it say for Rison, Ryzen? Okay, 50%. so maybe it's just always 100%. Yeah, it looks like it's 100%. Good, I say. 
Yeah, that's cool with me. Sounds like somebody lied to us. What? You? Tom. Okay. Telling us originally that it. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the death laser. I wish the damage it dealt would be like <laughs> proportionate to my health. Nine, right. nine, 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 nine. Yeah, as opposed well, to 276. Yeah, I say, well, like I said, it, it's only if it lands, you know, right. correct. So sometimes it will do that damage, sometimes it will okay. kill you. You should just wait this out and then moon him. I know. That's how these battles <laughs> work moon him. now. Uh, I, I figured out the loop now. This is just, <laughs> these are just ship battles at this point. <laughs> uh, focus with everybody else. Yeah, good idea. I was say it's going to be a little more tricky once because uh, your SP right now 44. It's not a whole lot that you have to save up, but it gets up to as high. It gets up to like 72 in a normal run, so mm -hmm. you'd be waiting quite a while to use right, that. Right, because we still have like 30 hours of this game. Right, <laughs> right. So real talk, how many hours do we have? Left? So we should never focus again because that was two. Yeah, SP. I know, I know. Well, like yeah, I said, was... if what you see f being focused is not all that it does. Like it, it does oh. more on top of that. Okay. Because there, you you always increase oh. your SP regardless of whether you focus or not. Mm -hmm. But focusing adds more to it, obviously. Okay. Well, let's see if it bumps us all the way up. Probably won't. Yeah, probably not. No. Nope, see, not. like we went from 19 to 29. Yeah. But wouldn't that have gone up anyway because of in between turns? Right, like it, it, it goes up in between turns, but then focusing adds more to that. So that just bumps it up two extra. No, I think he's saying in per addition person. to the two, it bumps up the amount it goes up after the turn. Okay. Right. Okay. You so like, you know, them. that would have gone up 10 or whatever. Mm -hmm. and it probably would have gone up maybe like five or six on its own. Yeah. But by focusing, it went up by 10 as well as, you know, the focusing that was done. Right. All right. Heal yourself. Are there any crystals or items that you can get that'll really up your SP? Um. Oh, the Fiend and Vice are dead. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't want to up my SP because it's. Well, he mean he means fill the gauge. I'm oh, guessing. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, not that I know of, but it, I never really looked so there might be something okay so basically I just want to have both of them up for next turn okay so yeah it only went up five this turn because you didn't focus as yeah. opposed to the ten yes right should work. Okay. so they have to have to bring them up keep them alive for one turn then we can do the moon thing <laughs> then we can moon it then we can moon it. Moon this shit. Oh my god, give me a uh, break with the avalanche. This is it's pretty, uh, Gotta give me some, some reprieve here, buddy. <laughs> They're at Ooh, full health, though, right? So that's fine, yeah. We're fine. We're Looks fine. like it just hit Enrique, so... That's good. And then both of those guys are back on full health, so if you just yep. heal Enrique and attack... Get or defend, on up. even. Get on up. <laughs> Get you up, can... stand up, come on, put your hands up. You can do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Moon. Sweet. Look at this. <laughs> Go, Cupid. I choose you. This is ridiculous. It's so great. Uh, Fly to the moon. I was like, is it... Like, isn't there a, a super move in Final Fantasy VII where yeah, you do something sure. with the moon, too? <laughs> in fairness, this this game's a little less... Final Fantasy VII is a little more godly, I think, than this game. True. In terms of, like, themes. Right. Like, this is just sort of a swashbuckling like, adventure where else you become the moon at one point. Right, right. Fair enough. Uh... I'm not complaining. I love it, obviously. <laughs> it's just... how, mu how much is Pirate's Wrath for the S, S move? Uh, 21. 20, oh. Yeah, 21. Um, let's focus. Focus. You should probably defend. Focus. No, fuck that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your ways. <laughs> See, at this point, the music should be playing uh, a little more triumphantly at this point. So there's just literally nothing you can do about the Death Laser. Well, I think sometimes it misses. Yeah, sometimes it misses and just does damage. Yeah. 
but not during this fight, apparently. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Not worried. This battle's been in the fucking palm of my hand this whole time. He thinks he's got me, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know my ways. He doesn't know, man. It's all about item management. It's all about getting the loop down. Like, I basically know what this guy's gonna do each turn, and I fucking outsmarted him. <laughs> uh, now because I have enough items. Yep. Just gotta Pirate's Wrath the thing. Yeah, just Pirate's Wrath, and that should be all you need to do. Uh, hey, look, a dummy might not be using his items as well as I'm using them. What I'm saying is that there is skill here. If Ica dies here, then uh, Ice doesn't get resurrected. Yeah, I know. I don't think she will die. Yeah, because yeah. I guarded, you see? Not with Ica, though. Oh, well, no, yeah, she didn't die. Oh, right. Well, she still didn't die, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Point still proven. Stand back up, Vice. Finish this. <laughs> Guys, I got this. Pirate's I'd say, wrath. like, yeah, Pirate's Wrath and, like, maybe do something else, some other special move just to be safe. Now nah, let's just guard. All right. I got it. Okay. Hey, uh, Ice Boss, I know you haven't been outside really that much, but, uh... Boom! Okay. I was, I was going to do Here this whole the speech while Ready you were doing the special okay. move. No, mind. we don't have time to watch special moves anymore that aren't the moon. <laughs> so... Pirate's Wrath is pretty awesome. Yeah, well, we've seen it. Fucking move yeah. on. <laughs> Though, you never skip Gunslinger. Well, that's true. I mean, look. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> it's true. He's dead. Pretty gone much. forever. Oh, uh, Ike is almost uh, maxed out red like everyone else. Which is cool. Yay! So good for her. Bad time. Little behind, but that's fine. Let's go uh, back to that save point. Call it an episode. I say. Oh, okay. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Okay. Very pleasurable this episode. This was a lot of fun. We just got through yeah. a whole dungeon. In one episode. Do you know how good we are at this game? Like, really good. We better be after 36 and a half hours. <laughs> well, you know what you can turn into 23 and a half hours from now? The next episode. Oh yeah. JRPG Astoria Future Perfect Deactivate. <laughs> <laughs>